What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be going over UI progress view. Now um, we're going to actually be implementing this using storyboards but if you know how to do it in storyboards then you know how to do it in code baby. Alright so it's going to be a very short video. It's very simple to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to a storyboard. We're going to open our object library command shift L and we're going to look for a progress view. Nice and simple. Very easy to do. We're going to drop this bad boy right on in here and we're going to make it a little bit little, go from left to right and we're going to just go ahead and add some constraints. I'm going to do 20 from the left, 20 from the right, 100 from the top because that, eh, well, we'll put it a little bit. Actually, we'll do it. You know what? We're going to do it from the bottom. So we're going to do about two, about 200 from this, this button. That seems to be working quite fine. And you know what? I don't like that blue. Let's go ahead and go into the attributes inspector of the progress view. Make sure that that progress view is selected. It's pretty small. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to tint and we're gonna change that to this nice, beautiful, sexy purple. And if that worked, we can go ahead and run the project right here. Uh, once again, or I didn't say this before, but if you wanted the, the beginner project, just go ahead and check the link below and you can get the uh, beginner project. So as you can see, we have progress right here, our, our little progress view. It's already set to half um, or 50%. So what we wanna do is we wanna start off at 0% because you know, I don't, I don't know about you, but I usually don't start halfway through a progress like that or a, a project. I have to like do the beginning part too. All right, so now all we need to do is just connect this to our code. So we're just gonna open up that assistant editor up here at the top. I already have the start progress button down there connected in the code. Made it made it all done for you because, uh, because I'm nice like that. We're gonna do control click and drag from the progress view into our view controller. We'll just go ahead and call this progress view. I guess, uh, you know, keeping it too simple this time. And now we're all connected. So what we wanna do now is we actually want to implement something that's going to increase our progress. So what we can do is we can go ahead and um, create an object that's gonna monitor our progress by creating a progress object. And we can have that actually, um, you know, in, increase the amount of progress in our progress view. So let's go ahead and switch over to the standard editor, go into our view controller, and let's go ahead and create a progress object now that's gonna track our progress. All right, so we have a progress object that has a total unit count of 10. If you guys aren't familiar with progress or NS progress, just go ahead and check, um, you know, check the video that I did on um, progress and that will clear things up for you. Inside of our did tap start progress, what we wanna do is every, every um, we wanna essentially make a timer and every you know, second we're gonna increment the, the progress, um, the total unit count of our progress object. So let's go ahead and start adding that in right now. All right, so as you can see in our did tap start progress, all we're doing is we're creating a timer. It's gonna schedule a timer that's gonna, um, uh, you know, go off every one second and it's gonna repeat, you know, one, two, three, four, you know. And then we're gonna have a reference to this timer because, um, you know, if the progress is finished, we just wanna go ahead and um, invalidate that timer. So once again, we're checking if the progress is finished. If it's not, then we're gonna move forward. But if it is, then we wanna just make sure that we stop that timer and then we print out finished and then we're stopping right there. But if we're still in progress, if we're still making progress, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna increment our progress object right here by one and then what we need to do is we need to essentially grab the fraction completed of our progress object and then set that to our progress view. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so as you can see, what we're doing is we're accessing the fraction completed property from our progress object right here. And then we're gonna convert that because remember that um, a fraction completed is simply returning a double but when we want to set progress, when we use this function, set progress, 
uh, it's expecting a float. So we need to just convert that into a float, which we're doing right here. So we're saying progress float, and then we're just accessing our self.progress view, and we're setting that progress to the progress float from right here. And of course we want it to be animated because we like things to be sexy, right? Now, um, real quick, before we you know run this, what we could have done is we could have said self.progress view dot, um, progress is equal to progress float directly but what this will actually do is it will set the progress but it won't be animated so you know if you like things sexy which you know your boy does like things sexy um then you want to make sure that you use the set progress and then you set this animated to true also you could just wrap this one in um you know a ui view dot animate and you can adjust the the animations from there uh, we're not going to do that here. That's a little bit, that's, that's, that's a bit extra if you ask me. And, um, yeah, all we're going to do right here is we're just going to go ahead and run it and see if everything's working, see if our progress view is updating. All right, let's hit that start progress. We hit it. Bam. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. yeah, look at it go. Woo, all done. And it says finish when we're done. So that's pretty cool. That's all we're going to do for the progress view. Um, as you can see, it's very simple. Um, and if I want it, what we, well, you know, what we could do is we could say self dot progress view, um, you know, progress is equal to zero. And then that would essentially just set it back to zero when we uh, go through the process. When we go through the process, we can just start it over so that we can just we can sit here for hours and just watch it grow and grow and grow. Now, um, the very last thing that I wanted to do was show you how to increase the size because a progress view is actually um, a progress view is actually going to oh the thing is completed that didn't work anyway. The progress view is actually set at a standard height, so you can't you know, modify the height directly with um, a constraint. So what you can do is you can go ahead and in your view to load if you want it or wherever you want to put it, you could, it, the, the better place to do it is actually make a subclass of a UI progress view, but we're just going to do this real quick, real quick. We're going to access our progress view. We're going to say transform and we're going to say it's going to equal to the progress view dot transform transform dot scale by now we don't want it to be any wider so we're going to leave the x as one so we're going to multiply it by one thus giving it itself but we want it to be like five times the height or something like that right we want it to be big juicy and sexy we just want it we want we want that thick progress bar right we want it to be nice and thick so what we did was we just scaled it by five for the y and as you can see it's nice and fat and thick so now we get big old fat, sexy, thick progress bar. And that's, um, you know, that's a little bit better. So that's all we're going to do for today. Kept it super simple this time. Um, you know, if you have any questions about uh, progress view, feel free to ask. If you have any questions about any other topics that you want covered, make sure you let me know. And I will, you know, definitely let you know if I'm going to add that to the list of things to cover. Uh, if you want to support the channel, make sure you check out kiloloco.com. Also, go ahead and feel free to pick up the t-shirt. Uh, code passionately, baby. Uh, it's a, it's a t-shirt that I designed myself. And, uh, that's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for stopping by and make sure you go out there and keep coding passionately.